you can believe this or not, the fruits that you put out in this earth, good or bad, it's gonna come back. For those that choose to deal in this wickedness, in the southern, it's called the roots. Casting these spells against people, wishing to get things to work in your favor, not trusting God and waiting on God to give you that answer. It's gonna come back. It may not come back in the form that you sent it out, but believe me when I'm telling you, I've seen it, I'm witnessing it. It comes back on you. When they can't get next to you, the next thing they try is your children, your family, your loved ones. So when you're out here dealing in this stuff and you're gaining up those group of people, it's going to come a day when God is going to sit you down. And I pray that you get a revelation to say, I want to change. I'm going to change because it should not take you waiting for God, our Heavenly Father, to lay you flat on your back for you confess that he is God. And he is the Lord and the creator of all. The fruits you put out in this earth, the salt that you put out, good or bad, I can't stress it enough. It's going to come back. I'm working on teaching myself that vengeance doesn't belong to me. It belongs to the Lord. Because if I act on flesh and act with my mind and what, what I want to do, the results is not going to be pleasing. I don't want to bring harm to someone that's offending me. I'm going to stay humble. I'm going to remain quiet. Doesn't mean I'm not acknowledging it. I'm just learning to wait on the Lord. When you wait on him and trust him with all your might, that's everything inside of you. He will. He is going to exalt you. I don't care what root they done planted, what spell they done cast out. I told you, it take a thousand of them against you. You one person. One. One. And it take a multitude of them to come up against you. So that alone should tell you just how powerful the Holy Spirit dwells in you and how powerful you are with God. To the point that they're going to do all types of things. With elevation comes situations. When those situations occur, it's to test you. It's to knock you off course. It's to knock you back down into that hole, into that corner. You see how I'm going back? Into that seat where you can't be seen. you quiet. And that's how they want you. But when you use your mouth, when you use your mouth, you're not using your mouth to speak negative against them. You're not using your mouth per se to cause harm against them. You're going to speak with the authority that's invested in you from our creator by his promises. That vengeance is his and that he will. And let me tell you something that I know. He will allow you to see him pay those people back. So you think it's good now that you getting around and you doing what you are doing. Because you, you feel gloat inside. You feel, you feel with yourself right now. But when it comes back, are you willing, woman enough, man enough, to say, hey, this is my just desserts, and I'm going to walk through it and weep, and I'm going to learn from it. I'm not here to discourage you by no means. I just want to encourage you and say to you, Turn from those wicked ways. Seek Christ. Test him. Just test him for yourself. Don't wait for hell to break loose. Don't wait for a situation to arrive to say, oh, Lord, what can I do? Father God, please help me. He's always there. I get many of emails and requests from individuals in the, across the world that says, I don't know how to pray. Listen to me, baby. It's no certain way. Just I ask that the word says come in a humble spirit. That means don't go to God rushing. Don't go to God fast talking. I say be clear. You can't never be precise. 
But be clear. And in every prayer that you submit to God, say to the say to the Heavenly Father, Father, let your will be done. Don't say it if you know within your heart you ain't ready to accept what God may is, is going to do. Ain't no may what he is going to do in this situation. You just say to him, whatever's concerning your heart, whatever's on your mind, is no certain way to pray. And a lot of people shy away from praying because they feel it's a certain way. No, it's not. No, it's not. You can be washing those dishes. You could be sitting in a, using the restroom, taking a shower, vacuuming. Just start talking. He already knows what's inside of you. He created you before you knew who you was. And we yet know who we are in Christ. But when you start knowing yourself, ain't no H-E-L-L, man, woman, machine, robot, uh, broadcast, podcast, nothing is going to be able to tell you who you is. You comfortable with who you are. When you wake up in the morning, you look in that mirror, you say to yourself, I know who I am. I know who God made me to be. And I'm not going to, I'm not saying it's not, uh, it's something wrong with putting on all the flashy stuff and looking good. Because there's nothing wrong with it. But I'm not going to do that to impress nobody. I'm happy with me. And I want you to be happy with you. Be confident in you. And when you know you see somebody that's dealing in that stuff, put distance between you and them. Because the wrath that's going to come back to them, you don't want to come back to you. You just don't want it. And you don't want any of the effects. It's not that you grand. It's not that you classing yourself amongst yourself. Because the word says, do not class ourselves amongst ourselves. You're going to put distance. And then you say, Father, have mercy as they, as they go. Hey, this is Experience for a Purpose. Thank you all for listening. And if you're on YouTube, like, comment, and subscribe. If you're on TikTok, tap that follow button for me. Love you.